In this video we are going to see how to prepare alanine. Alanine is a non-essential amino acid for humans and is part of the proteins of living beings. In this operation we are going to obtain alanine by reacting ammonia with 2-bromopropanoic acid. We will work in a fume hood or outdoors due to the toxicity of the products used. In a 250 milliliters flask with a reflux condenser and a thermometer, we dilute 50 grams of ammonium carbonate in 50 milliliters of water. Heat to dilute all the carbonate. Cool with an ice bath and put 100 milliliters of 26% ammonia solution in an addition funnel. Add the ammonia slowly, with stirring and keeping the temperature below 40 degrees. Once all the ammonia has been added, put 50 grams of 2-brompropanoic acid in the funnel. Slowly add the acid with stirring and maintaining the temperature between 40 and 50 degrees with stirring. Leave stirring for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the solution obtained is concentrated by heating in a crystallizer with slow stirring. We will put a thermometer to control the temperature. This evaporation operation must be done outdoors because ammonia and carbon dioxide vapors are produced. Stop evaporation when the temperature reaches 110 degrees. Let cool and disperse the solid in 800 milliliters of methanol. Store in refrigerator for 12 hours. Collect the solid obtained by suction and wash with a little methanol. We dry the solid at 60 degrees and determine the purity with the melting point. The melting point of pure alanine is 258 degrees. In my test it gave a very low result, 180 degrees. This indicates that the alanine obtained is quite impure and must be purified. To purify alanine, I have to crystallize it from hot methanol. Aniline in cold methanol is quite insoluble. I decided to use a socklet extractor to avoid using large amounts of methanol. I put the impure aniline in a socklet and extracted it for 12 hours with methanol. Once the extract was cold, I let it cool and the pure aniline crystallized. I collected the crystals by suction and evaporated the methanol as much as possible to get a second crop of alanine. The crystallized alanine gave a melting point of 248.8 degrees, quite close to the melting point of pure alanine. In this operation, 10 grams of fairly pure alanine were obtained. 